to another episode of the Eastbourne Fisherman. Today I've come down uh, slightly west actually, I've come down to Shoreham Beach. Uh, we're pretty close to Shoreham Harbour Arm. We're going to fish the beach and see how we get on. Eastbourne is blowing an easterly wind and it's making fishing a bit difficult for the last week or so. So I've come down here and we'll see how we get on. First things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just throw out some mackerel feathers and try and catch some fresh bait. So there we go, first couple of mackerel for fresh bait. It'll be absolutely fantastic later, hopefully. Try and get some bass on those. Right, it's just reeled into this uh, little scad here on the feathers. Really small one. Gonna get it straight back in uh, and carry on the fishing. So yeah, mackerel and scad so far, quite a few of them to be fair. For those of you who don't know, scad is that one there. And mackerel is the one slightly underneath it there with the nice coloration to the top. That's how to tell scan and mackerel apart. Right, so sun's going down, moon is out. Just leaves me on the beach on my own. Let's try and target some bigger fish. Look at that sunset, man. Absolutely awesome. Got a bag full of mackerel. So we've got some nice fresh bait. Let's see if anything will chomp at the bit. Right, guys, so baits wise tonight, I pulled out some frozen mackerel from my freezer. Um, I've got some sticky black lug to hopefully go for some sole. Got quite a few wraps of that. We've got some sandals that we're going to mess around with. There's some squids, a bit of razor fish in there as well. And um, got some fresh mackerel to use as well. So let's get baited up and uh, see what we can find. Rigs wise tonight, my first rig of choice is just a two hook flapper. And I'm just literally going to take some of this stringy lug. And I'm just going to feed that straight onto the hook. Nice, simple and easy. Just so we can just get our fish in. And then we'll mess around with it through the rest of the session adding different baits to tip with and so on and so forth. I'm just going to get a couple of bits of sticky black lug, just going to get straight on my two hook flapper, cast that out, start scratching around. Hopefully we'll be able to pick up the sole tonight or something along those lines. That's the first plan. Right so my next rig of choice is a pulley panel rig which is here, just two hooks there. And for this rig, I'm going to use some uh, fresh mackerel. So this is a fresh bit of mackerel that I've just caught today. As you can see by all the blood, I'm just going to fill it a section of this mackerel off. I just want a tiny bit. That'll be enough. Take that part there. As they say, fresh is best. I'm going to get rid of the rest of this mackerel over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that. down the middle, oop, fill it knife isn't the best, I do need a new one. That's going to give me two nice squares there. That's going to be two baits. And what I'm going to literally do is just take my bottom hook, fold it in to the bottom of the bait there, and pass it out back round. Like that. I'm gonna get my bait elastic and wrap that up there. And 
and all we're going to do is going to slide our top pick down to meet the top of the bait and that will go into the top of the bait like so just to hold that in place and that is our mackerel bait nice and ready to go I'm going to cast these two baits out now and we'll see if we can try and catch some fish right so there we are rod tips out red is the uh, bigger mackerel bait right is a smaller two flapper got some nice tip lights on there which are uh, absolutely awesome to be fair i'll use them for when i do my live streaming uh, or should i say when i do my live streaming <laughs> uh, hasn't happened for a while but we will get back on that soon so yeah we're out we're fishing um it's been, it's been a long time coming and i'm really looking forward to hopefully catching something tonight running right, guys the so first fish there of the evening nothing massive small sea bream let's get them unhooked and get them back in Absolutely awesome. Alright guys, a couple more fish for you then. This on the small fish rigs. We've got a small bream there. And also a little smooth hand there. Absolutely awesome. It's good to be catching some fish. So not much is happening really to be fair. Um, I've been throwing big baits out on one rod. The small rod I've been throwing out the small baits. Uh, it's pretty quiet now to be fair, um, we're about an hour, an hour and a bit into the ebb uh, and not much is happening I'm afraid. Uh, I'm going to try a variety of different baits um, and have a play around and hopefully you'll be able to scratch out a couple more fish. Can't really complain though guys, when your viewers like that, doesn't really matter. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. Moon, sea nice and quiet not a soul in sight out fishing enjoying and chilling out cannot beat it the only thing that i'm really effed about tonight is these midges are absolutely everywhere check this out look at all these midges absolutely everywhere and i'll get rid of them tonight all in the tent absolutely everywhere Seems to be a magnet for midges this evening. So next bait ready to go out. I have to say that's probably one of the nicest baits I've done for quite a while. And it's absolutely great. Let's get it cast out and see if we can get a decent fish on it. Right well, guys, so just had a nice bite. Thought it was going to be a nice bass or something. Reeled it in. Tangled my rig to buggery. And we got a scad there. Or horse mackerel, as some people call them. Really bony fish, not really worth eating. Uh, some people eat them. I mean, some people, you know, go to the trouble of making something out of them. But for me, it's going to go back. It's taken both hooks actually on that rig. But both hooks, absolutely crazy. Both mackerel baits tangle the rig up completely. I'm going to get them back in. What a crazy fish! So not much has been happening. We've fished it now for about another two hours. A couple of little bites I've missed. You know. Law. Uh, I've got the last rig out now. I'm just about to wind it in. It's coming on to around about two in the morning. I'm starting to get a bit tired and I've got a long drive home. So I'm just going to reel this last one in. We'll see if there's a fish on there and then I think we're going to call it a day. Just about to reel the last rod in then. I've packed up the other one already. Um, I mean the water's pretty far out now. So I think we've done. We, we've had a good stint here to be fair. Try something completely new. I think I've just literally got a bite as I've said I'm packing in now. Um, so I was going to let that develop and <laughs> we'll just see if we can grab one last fish before we pack up which would be absolutely awesome but I think it's just where we're so far away from the water now just catching on the top of the waves but you know who knows we could end up being wrong so I was going to give it a couple more minutes let it develop and then we'll see if we got one last fish before we go home right guys so that is it that is the end of the session um, I've just rolled in the last rod and it was nothing on there at all. Um, <laughs> a couple of little nibbles from the mackerel on the bottom, so who knows, I reckon it could have been another horse mackerel to be honest with you, but we'll never know. So thanks very much for watching guys, there's been quite a lot of you guys uh, that have recently joined, so huge thanks to you, and we'll see you on the next video. Cheers and tight lines.